Today I'm doing a review of the High Dance or A Torch uh, 300 volt 100 amp power meter. And uh, I'm looking for power meters all the time. I'm always searching for the perfect one. And if you look at the literature here, it looks like this one's pretty good. But looks can be deceiving. So I've taken this one apart. I'm going to do a part two on the screens uh, uh, later. And I'm going to show you the internals. Now you got some really nice size uh, connectors for the uh, for the wires. Uh, you know, one of the problems is they're actually too big. Uh, you really have to put uh, your uh, your wires into some type of connector in order to clamp down on this because you know they have one screw in the center it's fairly wide and uh, to tell you the truth it's they're really just too big they should have gone with something a little bit smaller so over here we have there's supposed to be four resistors uh, these are basically almost you know shorting bars and there's four of them they're point oh oh one and they're all in parallel I've removed two of them and I'll discuss that later and uh, over here the voltage comes in these two are tied together they only use one terminal and uh, I've made a little modification right here there's five 270 K resistors in series that make up the voltage divider and again I don't like what they did so I changed things I got a little 50k pot here and 130k resistor here and uh, I've just used the first two resistors uh, basically what I wanted to do was uh, make the voltage two times and that's what I've done with the current two times there so if you read the power uh, that's four times what uh, would normally come out so all your readings amperage voltage readings are two times what they should be and uh, the power is four times what it should be and the reason we do that is this thing is a graphing meter uh, this is the Bluetooth transmitter here and it transmits to your iPhone or Android I think they say you know 5.0 and above but there's a couple problems uh, on the scale although this says 100, 100 amps the scale only goes up to 60 and that's because this software is shared with a couple other I, other products they have and for commonality that's that's what they did and one of the big problems is you know what you'd love to do is have this on there on your equipment uh, come in the morning and reset it and in the evening come back and download the data and get a nice graph well that's not going to happen because your phone has to stay there all day but you know many people have uh, old phones and <laughs> finally you have a use for it you know just download the, the uh, software program and Wi-Fi and then just uh, leave your phone next to your equipment and you can make daily readings but you know my uh, water heating systems and stuff uh, that I have at camp uh, none of the individual heaters ever go more than 10 amps and so that gives you basically all your graphing is at the bottom of scale it's all close together and it's hard to see anything change and so what I've done is made the current look like it's twice what it should be and the voltage twice what it should be and so that makes the graphing a little bit bigger now this graphing program that they have you cannot scale it you know it says 0 to 60 amps you can't make that 0 to 20 amps you know even though the voltmeter has no no trouble reading those values and so everything is always stuck down the bottom I bought two of them these are only like 15 bucks each and you can't get them from eBay or Amazon I got mine from Alley and uh, which is surprising because uh, this thing has been out there more than a year so you should be able to get it and 
it requires from uh, I forget it is but it's, it's around you know 20 volts minimum that it'll self power on but you do have a connector and they do bring wire they do provide wires for this to power it externally and if you get from uh, uh, 4 to 7.8 volts uh, you can power it you know with a lithium ion cell or something like that so that's an option so the thing remembers this thing is not going to start displaying until you at least get like 30 volts on your uh, array and that can be a problem if you're trying to make low, low voltage measurements I mean if you have a direct connect heating system there's a good chance you'll never get that low uh, that higher voltage when uh, you know in the mornings and stuff and so it's not going to be recording anything at all but you know you're searching for the holy grail it sounds like it but uh, this doesn't doesn't quite work out uh, the software is a little clunky uh, there's one screen that's still in Chinese on this even though you can switch to English it's just you know they tried but they missed but you know it's a interesting meter so don't go buying this if you think this is going to solve all your problems it's a little hard to work with but if you have an old phone you know there's a good possibility that uh, this could be useful so that's my review for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll go over the screens uh, with a sample of my uh, hot water heating system, you know, in a few days.